Thank you for joining us. I'm David Wade with the WBZ News Update. Our top stories, the Celtics have taken their celebration on the road to Miami for a couple days. C's touching down with the Larry O'Brien Trophy this afternoon in Miami. They're going to be back in Boston, though, of course, for Friday's championship parade, which starts at 11 a.m. at the TD Garden. The route will go past City Hall Plaza, around the Common, down Boylston, finally ending at the Heinz Convention Center. Of course, there'll be millions of people there to watch. Bail. A Lowell man accused uh, of killing his 15-year-old girlfriend is being held without bail. Investigators say Trevor Brady shot and killed 15-year-old Aliana Dickey inside of her bedroom on Friday. They say Brady had allegedly hit and threatened to kill Dickey in the past. Dickey was set to graduate from the 8th grade before her murder. And state officials are trying to figure out what knocked out 911 service for about two hours. The outage was statewide, but service is now back up and running. They just don't know why it happened in the first place. Let's get a check of the weather now with Eric Fisher. Eric. Well, it's a hot day out there. We've got some hotter stuff to come over the next two. Tonight will stay very warm and humid, just bottoming out near 70 degrees in many spots. So quickly warming tomorrow. Most towns, one or two degrees warmer than what we saw out there today. So if you're hot today, you'll certainly be hot tomorrow. Well into the 90s, the southwest breeze again will be out there. Heat index will be around the triple digits in the afternoon. Boston, we're going for 94, well into the 90s north and west of the city. Again, the south coast is the most comfortable part of the area, not participating in the heat wave. Same idea for Thursday. Temperatures will be very similar well into the 90s in and just north and west of Boston. The Cape, the islands, if you're doing the beach thing, you are very fortunate. Right around 80 is about as warm as it'll get on Wednesday and Thursday. And on Friday, things will break. As a front comes through, the wind will start to shift off the ocean. Looks like we'll avoid the big heat for the rolling rally for the Celtics, but there's a chance for scattered showers and storms on Friday. So over these next two days, we'll be fine-tuning the exact timeline. Hopefully, it doesn't coincide with parade time, but it is a bit of a concern here for Friday. We'll keep you updated. David? All right, Eric Fisher, thank you so much. I'm David Wade. This has been a WBZ News Update. We thank you for watching. Have a great night.